The upcoming Game of Thrones spin-off, A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Hedge Knight could be coming even sooner than the next season of the already aired spin-off, House of the Dragon. The series will be adapted from a series of three novellas by George R. R. Martin following the characters Dunk and Egg, namely 1998's The Hedge Knight, 2003's The Sworn Sword, and 2010's The Mystery Knight. The characters are the younger versions of Esser Duncan the Tall and King Aegon V Targaryen, both of whom are referenced but never appear in Game of Thrones. Deadline recently sat down with HBO head of drama Francesca Orsi to discuss the future of the HBO slate. During their conversation, she revealed that the Hedge Knight spin-off will run ideally year to year and arcing out a three-season series. It could also very easily premiere before House of the Dragon season 2 because Thanks to its lack of dragons, it has much less demanding visual effects. Read her full quote explaining HBO's plan for the series below. The plan is more of a creative one in that much of the reasoning behind it is that it has a smaller canvas, that there's an intimacy to the visual canvas that allows us to generate the show faster than say, House of the Dragon might turn around because there's so much VFX. You may know based on the novellas that dragons don't exist so by virtue of that it will be a faster piece to turn around given that we don't have all these visual effect assets needing to deliver. The Hedge Knight would run ideally year to year and arcing out a three season series, which maps out the three novellas that George wrote. Of course, we'd like more beyond that, and George is continuing to think about the remaining novellas that he still wants to write but at this point, we have our eye on three seasons that would map out each book, each novella. Hedge Knight covered in blood. Like any series that's currently in development, HBO is keeping their options open as it relates to the Hedge Knight's overall longevity. Should the show become a runaway hit on a massive scale, it's only natural that they would look into extending it beyond three seasons. However, it might make the most sense to cap it at three seasons no matter what. There is no guarantee that Martin will write a fourth novella in the series before the show reaches its third season. The author has notoriously delayed the publication of the two newest Song of Ice and Fire novels for over a decade and still has plans to release a second volume of the Targaryen history Fire and Blood, upon which House of the Dragon is based. Breaking away from the storyline of the novels is part of what led the largely maligned Game of Thrones season 8 astray, so Hedge Knight might be wise not to follow in its footsteps. Additionally, now that the flagship Game of Thrones series has ended, Focusing on a wider variety of short-run series might be the right move. Should the franchise wish to explore a proper expanded universe, it might be wise to follow the model of the Marvel Cinematic Universe on Disney+. Giving many different characters and locations time to shine in their own miniseries could help keep the universe fresh rather than focusing on just a few longer-running series.